is just gonna be a very partial acceleration. We'll get a better acceleration up here in a second. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2021 Land Rover Defender. Now, this particular one has the two liter four cylinder, which I have never had a chance to review up to this point. So, it's going to be exciting to see how this engine performs. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover here in Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Defender. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 296 horsepower and then 295 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Defender. So first off, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the texturing you have here in the center. And then notice there at the top with the accenting. And then coming down below, notice we've got the reflector LEDs with the accent lights and everything. Looks great overall. We've got the Defender logo there in the center. And then notice we've got parking sensors just down below and then here off to the side as well. And yeah, this looks really good, kind of like all blacked out. And then the contrast with the silver there on the bottom portion. Now coming on the side here, we've got two 55 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then if we go to the wheel itself, you guys can see we've got a really cool design here. So we've got the silver there on the top, but notice we've got the dark metallic gray there in the center portion. And then you guys can see the parking sensor off to the side. And then notice that we've got pretty big fenders, but the fender flares themselves are actually relatively small. Got the defender venting there on the side. Notice that everything's body colored, including the mirrors and then the door handles and the top as well. Like this thing's all blacked out. But again, you've got a little bit of silver there on the bottom to kind of create some contrast against the sea of black on this particular Defender. So here's our key fob, has the Land Rover logo there on the back. And sorry, I'll go into the sun so you can actually see it. <laughs> Anyways, you got here, unlock your lock, and that's for the lights. And then that is to unlock the rear. Now, being a Defender, we actually have the rear hatch that opens up just like what you have with the Bronco and the Jeep. Well, it has a fixed window versus the window that pops up. So this is actually easier to open and close than those two. But anyways, we've got all the rubber floor mats here in the back. You guys can see we've got the Land Rover logo on it. And then I like the pattern there. Notice we got a little charging port here in the back. And then this is to raise and lower the rear because this one does come with the air suspension. So it makes loading up things a little bit easier and then you guys will notice we've got this little strap right here you can pull that up and then you guys can see the toolkit and everything that's just underneath there i'll have to use two hands to get that back into place and everything um, but also notice the pattern's the same as what you have on the hood which looks really cool and notice that we've got a control for the climate zone in the rear because i'm pretty sure this one actually has the uh, third row seating added to it uh, you guys can see that right there with the seat. So yeah, this, this has got a lot. It's got a third row. It's got it, just like tons of stuff happening back here. Now let's finish things up here in the rear. First off, let's go over the taillights. You guys can see those blinking right there. I love the look and design of the taillights on the new Defender. Huge fan, They're super distinctive, especially at night. Blacked out logo for the Defender logo. And then you guys can see the spare tire there on the back. More parking sensors here along the bottom portion. Then you guys can see the exhaust tip hanging out there um, along the bottom. And other than that, that's the rear. Now here's a door panel in the back. Notice we have the leather here at the top and then the exposed rivets, which I love the design touch of that. And then more leather down below. We've got the actual blind spot mining for the door so that, you know, just an added layer of safety got a couple speakers there for the sound system and then here are the seats for the second row to mix with the leather and then you have the cloth inserts there on the sides you do have adjustments there for the seats and then notice we got our own climate zone back here you've got all of your charging ports vents and then notice that you've got the covering here on the floor as well and you've got that and then we have even more charging ports underneath here so like you can charge a million devices it's uh, pretty crazy and then of course we have the signature Defender roof windows, which are really cool, but so you Now here's the door panel at the front again We've got the leather trim and then the exposed rivets and you can actually see we've got the body painted color portion right there All regular window controls with the mirror adjustments and then your door lock and unlock and then you guys can see this for the Meridian sound system a couple more speakers We've got the mirrors here which do have blind spot monitoring and then here is the front seat. So again, we've got the leather with the perforated leather and then the cloth inserts. The seats are manually adjustable, which is kind of interesting. Pedal layout just down below and then the hood latch release and then the parking brake right there. And then notice more leather trim on that portion. And yeah, that's what we're looking for before we pop in.
Now here's the steering wheel in the Defender. You've got leather all around the steering wheel with the Defender logo in the center portion. Got our cruise control and heated steering wheel button over here. We've got our voice command phone controls on the other side. Turn signal slash light stock, windshield wiper stock, and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. First off, if I press this little button here on the steering wheel, it changes, but also it lets you go through some different menus to give you different bits of information here on the Defender. Pretty cool that you have that. Now we do have a drive mode select, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, um, but we have a few different drive modes. So we've got our eco on one part. We've got our comfort program. We've got our grass, gravel, snow, and then you can see mud ruts, and then we've got sand, rock crawl, and then we've got our waiting mode, which the waiting mode will actually raise up the air suspension to the highest height, so then you can get the most clearance, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's the difference, well, programs rather than uh, drive modes, because well, it's, it's fancy, it's a program. Now, so you've got more leather here at the top, and then here's the infotainment system in the Defender. If I pop it into reverse, you guys can see you've got a backup camera with trajectory lines. They turn with the steering wheel, and then you've got the off-road mode with the camera that'll give you information there on the side, which I think is pretty cool overall. Uh, but notice we've got a few different viewpoints here with the camera as well. So from a camera system perspective, it's really solid. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time is great. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the infotainment system. This isn't the largest version, uh, but it still has just as good response time as a larger version, and it's just as easy to use. Something else that's cool is there's actually storage space behind the infotainment system, and then you guys can see on the side, another charging port says Defender right there, and then we've got the grab handle here at the top. Got the shifter for the eight-speed automatic. We've got a bunch of controls here. So we've got our hill descent control, auto stop, start, and then notice that we've got the adjustments here for the air suspension, stability control, low range. We've got our climate controls, and then also you can like do the fan speed, and then the drive mode select is on that portion right there, uh, which is pretty cool. And then down below, we've got our USBs, and then a 12 volts, and then we've got more storage in that area. Some cup holders, wireless phone charger, and then you guys can see we've got the center console right here. Definitely nice little feature. Tons of leather here on the top and then popping over the glove box. You can see that whole setup right there. And then we'll just finish things up by popping up to the top here. So we have the traditional mirror sunglass holder and then we've got the panoramic sunroof. Uh, here as well and lighter colored headliner which matches the seats which is nice so if you want the most up-to-date pricing on this particular defender then again just go check out their website in the description down below but i want to show you guys some stuff with the certified pre-owned since this one is a certified pre-owned comes with quite a bit of stuff so you guys can see the warranty and then how you get the roadside assistance and it comes with the inspection and everything uh so yeah i think that's pretty cool and also no warranty deductible man you're getting a lot of stuff with that if you guys are wondering well let's see 98 68 let's see how many miles 10,080 now, so it's been in a couple of test drives. Uh, but anyways, let's take it out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. You can see visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, again, they've got blind spot. Rest of the rear, and let's set off. We are setting off here in the 2021 Defender with the two liter uh, four cylinder. And first off, let's talk about ride quality and road noise with this Defender. Um, so like every other Defender I've driven, it's so nice. It definitely feels like a very high class upscale luxury vehicle from a ride quality perspective. It's really smooth, it's really quiet as well and it's just everything's comfortable the seats are comfortable and it's it's just a nice luxury experience and you just don't get that uh, with the new wrangler or the uh, new ford bronco as well i've driven quite a few of those as well and yeah this this just is way way more on the luxury side of things and so obviously you still get really good off-road capability uh, but again on road which is most of the driving that you'll probably do with this vehicle it's very very comfortable as well now aside from that um, in terms of uh, just the overall like I guess ambiance of the vehicle kind of uh, just like what it feels like what everything looks like it, it again it feels like just like I'm in this nice cabin but also there's this rugged side of it like I look at the exposed rivets on the side and just how some of the things are designed and again I, I'm very comfortable and I feel like I'm in a luxury car but I feel like I'm in like a rugged luxury car and I really like that I like that feel uh, a lot and 
I'm not super old, I'm only 24, but as I get older, this like appeals to me way, way more than something that's just like hardcore off-roady. Like this is actually like, it's it's it just feels well-rounded and I like that. And also this has the auto hold when you stop so I can take my foot off the brake and the car will just hold so then you don't get that uh, nasty ankle crap cramp <laughs> if you do a lot of driving. Trust me, I deal with it because I drive everywhere. This is just gonna be a very partial acceleration. We'll get a better acceleration up here in a second. Yeah, it's actually got really good low end torque. You can tell that the torque comes on really early in the power band with the two liter. And yeah, just like partial throttle, it feels great. And you get quite a bit of turbo noise actually. There's like a little bit of uh, blow off and you can hear it spooling up as well, which it, it sounds cool. I like it. I definitely uh, like that sound. And it, it doesn't sound like a gross four cylinder. Some four cylinders kind of, you know what I'm talking about, they have that like groaning sound. This doesn't really do that. It just, it's mostly turbo noise. And I'm going to just create like a little bit of space between me and this person in front of me, just so I can kind of go full throttle for just a second. Yeah, this sounds good for a four cylinder. Like it's not obnoxious, which I definitely think is a huge positive. Uh, now, gearing down the eight speed automatics really quick, uh, gets into the power band. You do feel a little bit of turbo lag when you're like full throttle and you're like, yes, I just want to go. Uh, but it, it actually does a pretty good job overall. Like it's, it's, it's peppy. It definitely feels like what the power figures suggest, even maybe a little bit more. I wonder if they kind of underrated this uh, slightly because it definitely feels a little bit quicker. So we will get a full-blown acceleration here and then we'll cap things off. Yeah, that is just solid. It, Like I said, it, it accelerates at a really, really good pace. So let's sum things up here with the Defender. Uh, so first off, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the aesthetics. Uh, Interior-wise, again, mix of luxury and ruggedness. Now, as for the engine itself, uh, it's more than adequate, uh, especially for city driving and all that kind of stuff. I could see where someone might want a little bit more power on the highway with this particular engine. Um, but I mean, for most like day-to-day -day driving, it's it's more than adequate. Uh, and I feel like it it melds well with this vehicle because this vehicle is not all about like all out acceleration. This is more about comfort and then having off-road capability. And this engine would be great for off-road use. And it's right there with the Ford Bronco and the Jeep Wrangler from an acceleration standpoint as well. So it's solid. But I mean, if you just want more power, then just get the P400 and boom, you've got more power. If you really want power, they're going to have that new V8 version. And so the Defender really has an engine option for everyone at this point. Now let's kind of sum things up for our video on this 2021 Land Rover Defender with the two liter four cylinder. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover of Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Defender. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see you guys in the next video.